It's that special time of year again. Mother's Day is this weekend, and have you thought about treating mom to a nice meal? Does she like seafood? If she does, Joe White is your guy. Joe White of the Shrimp Boat in Ocean City. How you doing, Joe? Great, how are you doing, Katie? I'm great. So you guys have a couple specials going on this weekend. We have a lot going on. Mother's Day is a really big weekend for us. Mm -hmm. so, so what kind of options do people have right now? Well, first off, I mean, we, we're doing delivery mm -hmm. from Salisbury to Ocean City, Snow Hill, all the way up to Selbyville, Delaware. So if you think you might want it, whether it's raw or cooked, yeah. and you're in that area, we'll probably be able to deliver it to you That's or to your mom. What, what's kind of a popular Mother's Day meal that people love? Shrimp is probably number one mm -hmm. for mom. Uh, Father's Day is usually crabs, but <laughs> crabs are pretty popular. Crab Imperial is one that we probably sell more of right, right around Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a good one to eat in the middle of the day on Sunday. So if people were thinking about doing this, doing the delivery, how, how early do they need to call and, and get it all set up with you? The, the minute you know what you want, call us. We mm -hmm. can set it up in advance. Our, our takeout system will not drop that order until mm -hmm. it's supposed to be cooked. And on our delivery, we have tracking systems. So if you give us your phone number, you'll know when it's coming. But if you, if you know, it could be even just an hour before you want it to. That is awesome. And you are going to uh, show us your specialty today, huh? I thought I'd make you something that, one, you could, you could send the raw ingredients to your mom. Mm -hmm. Or if you had some leftovers after Mother's Day, say you sent her some shrimp, it's an idea she might make for, you know, a meal the next day, you know, using the leftovers and that sort of thing. It's pretty cool. Perfect. I can't wait. It's our, it's our seafood rice. And then we're going to blacken some shrimp and some rockfish and put on top of it. Yeah, it sounds incredible. All right. You want me to show you how to get the rice going? Yeah, let's go, Joe. All right. I know you have so some. So actually what I did is I took a, I took some shrimp stock. You know, we cook our shrimp with the head on. And I saved the uh, shrimp stock right in this pot. It's only about a cup. And it's going to add a lot of flavor to the rice. And then I've got jasmine rice. So I'm going to put a cup of jasmine rice in Ooh. as well. And uh, on top of that... Uh, we're going to add a few things. Now, you can you can make your own twist. I like a little bit of uh, andouille sausage. Ooh. Uh, we use this in our gumbo. It adds a lot of flavor, but it doesn't overpower the shrimp. Yeah. And then a little bit of jalapeno. I just took one jalapeno and diced it up, and I just throw that in there. And some uh, roughly chopped cilantro. That'll flavor it up. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you can totally put whatever it is you want one thing I did add to this with the water is some chicken stock. Mm -hmm. uh, chicken stock really marries well with the seafood stock, and it uh, just enhances the flavor. It won't taste like chicken at all. Sure. So I've got it in the pot, and then I got it on simmer. Now, I had it boiling just before I put it in there. Mm -hmm. I, I, now I have it on simmer, and I'm going to cover it. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to take about 20 minutes. Gotcha. The nice thing is while we're, that's doing its thing, we mm -hmm. can go kind of play around with the shrimp and the rockfish. And rockfish is something we sell a lot of around Mother's Day. We'll have rockfish in. It's it's they've had a good catch of it this year. Awesome. And then for it, I like to do a little bit of um, salt on top, and then some blackening seasoning. Mm. And I've uh, we've done a blackening seasoning recipe before, uh, but you can even use you know one of the store bought ones if you want to. Mm -hmm. So. Then I've got a pan here mm -hmm. that I'm going to put a uh, just a little tiny bit of butter in. And then I'm just going to actually just place the rockfish in for right now. Okay. With the blackening down. And then in a couple minutes, we'll switch this over. Perfect. Well, Joe, we will take a quick break so we can get that to cook, and then we'll come right back. Sound good? Yeah, it sounds great. I'll, I'll keep working on this. Perfect. Stay with us. We're back here on Del Marva Life, hanging out with my friend Joe White in the kitchen, and you have a guest now. Oh, yeah, li my daughter Lily joined me. Hi, Lily. Hi. How old are you? Eight. You are eight years old. Did you know that Mother's Day is this weekend? Yes. And do you know what you're getting your mom? I'm making her a Geo picture. Oh, that sounds nice. And tell me, Lily, what makes your mom special? She does a lot of things for me. That's awesome. You guys are going to have a great yes. Mother's Day, it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she'll help me cook, too. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So, Joe, how's, how are things coming along here? 
Well, we're ready to flip this this uh, fish over, and I wanted to show you. Can't wait. So I started with the, the skin side up. Nice. <gasps> All right. And then once I put it back on, I'm going to turn the heat down, mm -hmm. and I'm going to cover it. Okay. Okay. But we're going to just let it kind of finish. All right. And then while we're while it's doing its thing, I've got the the rice right here. And the, well, before I show you that, I'm going to stir the one we just started, and you're going to see it's going to just take a little while, but all that's going to cook down. Yeah. And when it does, this is what it looks like. Wow. Yep. So I'm going to just grab a little bit of that, and we're going to make a little little pile right in the middle of the plate. I think moms all around Delmarva are going to get fired up about this, Joe. They're going to start. Make it some orders. The bar a little bit. Just before <laughs> I put this fish on, I'm going to throw a couple of shrimp that we had left over. Can't. I mean, uh, you have to have the shrimp. You have to. And a little bit of blackening seasoning on those. Perfect. And just as the, the fish is finishing, we're just going to put that right on top. Does your wife enjoy this meal? You know, it's, it, she's not a big seafood eater. <gasps> uh, but you know that's an interesting it, it's very interesting because she's not all of our non-seafood stuff on our menu whether it's a chicken we bring in fresh chicken or ground beef or steak it's uh it's made for the person in the family who's not a big seafood eater you guys cater to everybody <laughs> but i'm i'm more than make up for her that's the thing <laughs> well uh and then th this is the this is the finished product i, I mean i did it ear of corn yeah it's that time of year where maybe you're craving that and uh some fit, some shrimp and some some of the fish and the rice. Oh my gosh, Joe, um, you're gonna need to deliver that to the station. <laughs> I can definitely deliver. You're definitely in our area. <laughs> That's awesome, Joe. Thank you so much for spending time with us today, and I hope you get tons of business this coming weekend for the Mother's Day weekend. Thank you very much. The the support we've been getting from our customers in the whole area has been tremendous, and uh, we're really looking forward to having a very successful Mother's Day weekend. Yeah, happy Mother's Day to you and your family. <laughs> you too. Have a good weekend. All right, thanks, Joe. Thanks.